welcome back to Copperhead Customs. Today we're at one of the local auction houses. We're going to have a look at some cars that we might be interested in buying. So stick around to see if they're any good. As stated, we're at one of the local auction houses now this is not a salvage auction so this is one where we can come and inspect the cars we've got to be careful here because sometimes this can be a car dealer's dumping ground where they dump their cars that have stuffed transmissions etc but the good thing is is you can get these little things the keys you can start them you can't drive them but you can at least see if they'll start and go over the cars a bit better so this here is the first one we're going to look at and it is a little Mini Cooper. So it's in the racing red, but yes, this is a diesel from what my memory serves. And we'll just have a quick look around the car, see if it starts and see what it we think of it. And then tonight, the auction will be online and we will see how much it goes for and if it's worth it buying it. So let's see if we can get in it. And it's not looking good so far. Here we go. There's the inside. I've seen a little bit of a sea tape peel here and along this edge. Other than that, the body's not too bad. That's about our only spot, I think. But there's a little little mark on the roof there. Body wise, we look pretty good. See where the bonnets on the other side. The rear hatch needs a bit of clean coat. They actually feel pretty solid, these little minis. Drop some comments if anyone's had one of these and what they're like. never owned one. After a bit of stuffing around we finally found out how to open the bonnet and we'll uh, we'll see. But you gotta come in and jump in on this side. Make some room. Now the key goes here, weird little key, it's automatic, it is a diesel, full tank of petrol, 199 kilometres, inside's very neat, we know nothing about these. Roadside assistance it had. We've got books in here. We've got books. No books. Inside pretty neat. Straighten the gear. be alright. So uh, we'll see how we go. We'll check the aircon. I think it's starting to get cold. Yeah, it's starting to get cold, so the aircon's good. There's no lights on the dash. This, this 
might be a candidate. So anyway, so far so good with this I think. Okay, so uh, here we are in the boot, very tiny little boot. We've got a 12 volt supply in the back there. We've also lift up this, no spare wheel, no room for it. Uh, it looks like the jack's missing, but everything else is there. They come with a little compressor and a little can of Zush for your spare tire. Tiny little boot, but the seats will fold down, which is how we would use it if we kept it, but we would be selling this, I'd say. Anyway, other than that, it's just got these few issues here a little bit of a weird rubber bit going on there and it looks like we're missing the part of the aerial that's nothing not bad okay so we were pretty happy with that little mini and this is our second one this is a ML350 Mercedes now as you would know we have one of these ourselves but ours is getting pretty high in kilometers not that there's anything wrong with it, so we're always looking for a lower K variant to either replace ours or to move on. So we'll have a look at this one. It's in this nice goldish colour and hopefully it unlocks and it doesn't unlock. So we've got to know. This one's got a flat battery. Memory, this has a flat battery. But it's open, so if you guys kind of come in on this side and have a look, start in the interior. This one has the beautiful black leather with the Alcantara insert, so it's a very nice spec interior. Inside looks pretty good. We've got the fake carbon looking. So this is a good spec, this one. It's got the Bluetooth phone piece in it as well, which means your phone will work. It's got the original mats. It's got the GPS CD in there. That's all pretty good. Uh, let's have a look in the back. There's some stuff going on back here. Oh, killy daily. So this is the battery cover. And this is the heater tray. That's all to do with the battery. So the battery in these is under the driver's seat. So they've undone that to either charge it or because that battery is no good. Interior is really nice in this one. And in the back back, our fuse compartment is all open. So someone's been in there playing around. But overall, the condition inside is very nice. So you guys do a quick walk around. I'll and have a look at the body and I'll quickly go and pop the bonnet. Okay, so this is the ML350, so it's the 3.5 litre V6. Some people like them, some people don't like them. We've never had an issue with either of ours. The oil itself is not bad. It's a little bit dirty, but nothing too bad. It's full. And this is one of the rare Mercedes as you can check your oil in. Um, other than that, everything under here looks pretty good from what we can tell. Coolant level seems to be okay. So, you know, remembering it is a Mercedes, not much going on. 
other than lights on the dash. And body wise, it's in very good nick. I haven't seen any marks whatsoever on it. So I'll zoom you around quickly, but I haven't really seen anything. We've got near new tyres. What brand are they? Maximus. What's this back ones? 25519s and that's a that's a Ling Long. That's a Ling Long. Hey, you ever had a Ling Long tyre? <laughs> anyway, no hail damage. You gotta watch here in Queensland for hail. Not really any marks. A couple of little tiny scratches on the back. Over here we've got another Ling Long. Ling Long long time. And Maximus is on the front. So we've got mismatches but they're in pairs and body wise it looks pretty good so this is about the only thing I've seen wrong is a bit of clear coming off of that so this one doesn't look too bad we're gonna have to get a uh, get the jump man out before we make a proper decision but other than that this one may be another contender we'll go look at the others we'll come back to this later on okay we are in the ML with the beautiful interior and it has 218,000 Ks we've got it jump started it's running the battery is really 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 bad so it's had a few little hiccups because it's so flat now the aircon works it was it was even the aircon wouldn't work properly when we first had it running now I actually checked the codes there I don't think you meant to but I did and it's for the uh, intake manifold flaps which is the same as our ML our ML has the check engine light for those flaps as well and we're just trying to get the aircon to work again and it's not working again what's going on now okay the aircon is not working at all so whether this is to do with the fact that it's so flat or it's had a little meltdown I don't know it was working but now it's not so it, I'm melting in here so anyway I'm not quite sure on this yet we'll uh, we'll keep looking and I think we may give it a miss to tell you the truth I'm just concerned about that aircon not working at all now we've got nothing out of there at all Uh, the stereo is coming on, but yeah, the aircon is not, no matter what I do to it. Anyway, I think it's probably okay, but I think, I don't know if we're going to risk it. So, we'll see how we go. Here's another one. This is a, I'm not sure on the year, I'll have to check. Uh, it's the CDC 200. So this one we're actually thinking about for ourselves as a little run around to retire our Swift and we'll sell our Swift. This is a 03 C200. Now these are renowned for timing chain issues, but we've had a few of them. If they're serviced regularly, they are generally fine. Let's have a quick look under the bonnet. Now it is grandpa spec, grandpa wheels, gold, and my least favorite color interior, the gray, but it actually looks really well looked after, this one. So this one, from memory, you cannot check your oil in. You can check your trans, but not your motor oil. Yeah, it has to be done on the screen from memory. We're just having a look, and I'm yes, 100% on that. Is that isn't it? Or no? I've told you it's a lie. There it is. There. And look at that oil. It looks brand spanking new. So, like I said, this one, just by looking at it, looks like it was well looked after. Um, Everything needs with nice shiny headlights. There's hardly a mark on this one, guys. Nice tyres, epoxy rims. It's really epoxy colour, but it is grandpa spec, so it's probably a good one to buy. The back tyres look a bit old. Like they're different front to back. That's nothing. The boot, it's brand new. Not a scratch on this. This one's very well looked after. 
a bit tire. So we're happy with everything around there. So at the moment this one's at a thousand dollars, this goes off in two days. Um, and you never know what these are gonna go for. Sometimes they blow out. So have a little look here on the inside. Yeah, not bad. Nice and very nice and neat this one. So here is the cross of the fingers is if we hear rattling from the motor then we know it is doing the timing chain. And that my friends sounds perfect. So I think we got a good one here. Sounds like the blend door is making a bit of noise. Make some room to fit in there. come in here and have a listen hear that noise that's our blend door trying to select that would drive you absolutely crazy and I'm not really sure how we fix that I'd have to do some research on that but that would have to be fixed the aircon is icy cold. Actually, look, it's just stopped. We didn't touch anything. We went to touch something and it stopped. So maybe it's just a when it first fires up thing. Can we move this, I wonder? That's obviously our fans. Oh, no, here we go. I wonder if we put that there. Right, it looks like it doesn't move. So it looks like it's just beetling out of the... We're on classical, so like I said, I think an old person owning this, it's just beetling out of the top vents and out of the demisters, it looks like. So we may have issues with that, but nothing too major. Brakes feel good, straight into gear. Straight into drive. Just give it a little rev in drive. Yeah, that feels solid as. Everything feels good in this one, guys. This one, I think, is a good car. So like I have said, in here, there are great cars. And there are some not so great cars. Now this could just be from another dealer who has, maybe it's a new Mercedes dealer and the person traded in on a new Mercedes, perhaps. A new Mercedes dealer ain't gonna sell this car that's 21 years old. Okay, we got a little bit of something a bit dodgy there on that, but that's nothing major. Now there's no books, so that kind of sucks that I can see. So yeah, we'll need that replaced, but that's not a biggie. It's got no petrol in it. The radio worked, everything works. Windows, let's close the door because it's so cold in here. Window works. That one works. Uh, yep. And one back here. Like I said, this one's pretty good. Normally these door handles are renowned for breaking on these older Mercs of this style. They're good. We've got that noisy blend door and it looks like this isn't adjusting. So there's something going on with the blend door. And that there needs to be replaced. Other than that, this is a good one. I think this was 190 I'll see if I can work out how to do that. It's been a while since we've owned one of these. It says one malfunction. We'll have a look at that. 140. 140 Ks on this for a 20 year old car. So yeah, this is very well looked after. Let's go to that one malfunction and see what we get there. It never stays to amaze me. So we just had some pelican come over telling me how good the car is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I needed his advice. Anyway, um, the one malfunction I think is that it needs petrol. So yeah, this one is actually really nice and um, no sunroof. So yeah, we'll keep our eyes on this one. This one, this is a good buy. This would be a good buy for anyone. First car, older car, anything you want. This is a really, really good car so like i've said there's good here there can be bad you just got to come and inspect them but this one 
I would say is really, really good. So that car, I would say, is really, really good. It even had Pirelli tyres. They were matching set on the front, matching set on the rear. They were Pirelli. So like, how could you get? Now this is something here. Here it got. I'm very interested in this, this one here. C32 AMG. Now these are rare as over here. I've heard this is only the third one I've ever seen for sale. I've got to research to see when it's up. We're not inspecting it today, but this one, this one I want. So that there has 3.2 litre supercharged motor. It's an AMG. It has the big AMG brakes. All of the good stuff. It's probably a 2001 or two model. It's old, but they are rare as and worth pretty good money now I could have bought one years and years ago for seven thousand dollars and I hummed and hard and offered him six and he wouldn't take it and me being me I wouldn't buy it and then well, I kicked, have kicked myself ever since and this is the next one ten years later I've seen now then we're going to go from that last C200 which was absolutely grand past to this this is looks like a bit of a turd so this is a C180 and it is a bit of a rough at the moment it's only $400 goes off tonight but we have some issues everywhere now that's actually look I just fixed something so we've got some pain issues there we've got clear coat, coat issues on the boot the roof the bonnet on this door more issues on the top of this guard clear coat issues Bumper's got some crazy cracking in it. There, headlights are being polishing. Both of these, got a broken mirror. It's a bit of a roughy, but it is cheap now. That looks like it had a key plate. Someone stuck on there. Only one key. It does unlock it, so that's a start. What we'll do now is you stand there and I will start this and let's have a listen if this one has the rattle. Now this has the broken door handles. If you zoom around here quickly before we start it, that's what I was talking about on the other one. These are common to break. Black interior in this one, both handles are broken. And if you look through, it looks like it's probably a country car because it is full of dirt. So let's have a fire up and see. Not too bad, it didn't really rattle, it didn't sound nice at the last one but it didn't have the rattly timing chain not so that was a good sign now we don't know how long since it's last been started it would have been started 15 minutes ago for all we know so but the temperature is cold so it does have a check engine light this one is pretty rough but if we were to get it like really really cheap it may be a good little daily maybe and then we can sell with our little Suzuki Swift that we've been using before we run too many K's up on it but if this aircon doesn't work then I do not want to touch it because the aircon compressors are quite a bear to change in these things and I don't really feel like doing it and that doesn't feel like it's getting cold to me but we won't, we won't end it just yet have a bit more of a look give it a chance if you want that bonnet off Yes, yeah, Sometimes, guys, you need to have two people because you need to get someone to put down the bonnet. Now, these have a little clip here. Getting 
There we go. Looks like I can get my fat little finger in there. Now, as you can see, like I said, this one, I think, has been living on a dirt road. Now, this one doesn't sound very nice. When you come in close, you'll hear a bit of a knock at his sound. It sounds like one of the pulleys. Hopefully it's not in there. I don't know. Few sticks missing. We don't like this one, so I'm gonna cut this one. Okay, so this one we cut there because I could hear that little knockety knock noise. I don't know if you guys could hear it. It could have been a belt pulley, but there's a good chance that was coming maybe from the timing chain. And we're at the point where we're not gonna risk stuff like that. Not to mention the car's rough. It's a bit of a pig. I wouldn't really wanna drive it around like this. Maybe if you're 18, yeah, but so I'd have to probably paint it up. Everything's just a bit rough and worn out. No air con and then that noise. So for us, it's a no-go. Someone else, this may be okay, but not for this little duck. Okay, we're back home and we are up at the computer and here is our little Mini that we were interested in. Now it was a 2011 and like I said it was the turbo diesel uh, 2012 compliance and it is going to go to more than I was willing to pay. It's already at 4,400 plus if we click on it, it is $615 buyer's premium which is buyer's fees. Uh, there's nine minutes left. So it's 4,700 at the moment, plus the 615, and it is still reserve, the reserve is near. So they probably want a bit over five grand for it. And then you add your fees, so you know, it's gonna be close to 6,000 probably to get that, and that's more than I wanted to spend on it. I was hoping it was going to be probably around the $3,000 plus fees is what I was thinking. Uh, I didn't realize, I'm even cheaper, I didn't realize it was an 11. So the good thing with the 11 though is most of the bugs are now out of them by this stage, but I don't know anything about the diesels. I'm pretty sure the old automatics had issues. So we'll keep a little eye on this to see what it actually goes for if you want. And if we go back to our listing, uh, that was the only one I was really overly interested in tonight here's our ml which wasn't bad but there was a couple of little issues with the aircon it could have all been to do with the battery being so flat because the battery was had had no nothing in it but it's too risky uh, to do that and honestly i'd probably like to get one with lower k's and to replace ours but realistically i'd like to get the ml 63 amg to replace our one so it's at 2650 at the moment plus fees 2750 there you go plus fees it still has nine minutes like i said and 615 fees on top and we don't know there was the little aircon issues and it did have the check engine light so that was that one we were going to give that one a miss any rate Beautiful interior, I must say, on that one. Now, let's see if we've got that. There's our cheap one, our cheap little black Mercedes. Now, this was, if you look in the pictures here, this is why it pays to go and look. You can see the broken mirror, and you can see there's a little bit of issue with the paint. But other than that, this car looks fairly, fairly clean, doesn't it? Like, it's not too bad. You can see it's a little bit rough. You can see the engine bay looks a bit rough, you know, a bit dirty, like it's lived on a dirt road or something. But in the flesh, it looked a lot worse. Now, they're pretty good Ks on one of these. In the flesh, this was not very well looked after. And you would not have picked the few things that, off pictures, you cannot pick the things that I really did not like about it. It wasn't so much those visible things that you can see. It was the fact that in the engine bay, if we go back to it, you do not notice here, well there you go. Just here, the dipstick is in it. Now when we checked the oil, there was no dipstick. So what happened to the dipstick, I wonder? Because there was no dipstick in there when we went 
and viewed the car today and if you look there the dipstick is definitely in it that little red thing so i wonder what happened there either someone stole it or it was hanging around here somewhere and someone didn't put it in but that actually scared me the fact that this had been driving down a dirt road and the engine is this dirty and that being open dirt getting into your oil and it will not be long and it is no good but that and that little noise i did not like so this one is 900 at the moment with a 415 dollar buy premium it has two minutes left so yeah but again we decided we didn't want that one and then the one that we do want to bid on well that one is coming up in the next few days so if we fly down here and go back to there there it is there it ends in three days so today is wednesday night it ends thursday friday saturday night i think and that's the one that i think we want that is the pick of the cars in my opinion and that is a quality quality car and this is you know this one was was very good and the pictures show it as it is but like i've said that's why you go and look so you can have a determine what you think is good now this one if just look at that motor compared to the other one uh, as you can see it's taped just there and there because they're renowned so that um but just the motor looks beautiful and this cover is on it and that cover is very rarely still on it uh, it is an 03 as you can see the interior is immaculate it has the original floor mats in that are immaculate 140,000 k's and classic do you see this classic that was actual classical that's the station and that's classical station so that tells you there's a good chance it was owned by someone older and the fact that it was running pirelli's front and back and now this is the one thing we didn't see because they keep the books in the office i forgot about that but it does have books I don't know about the service history they normally show that so maybe it doesn't have the service history book but the book was there so that's the pick at the moment it's a thousand and nine dollars and four fifteen buyers premium and that's the one we're going to go for i think uh, how far we take it i don't know but that one has no reserve so whatever is the winning bid is what you pay for it so we will see how we go if we get it you will see it come up in a future video and i would probably say if we do get it we will swap the wheels out and put some amg wheels on it is all i'm thinking of doing and we will probably have that as our little run around car and move on our little swift so if you thought that this was okay type of video uh just showing you some of the stuff you can go and buy from these places then drop some comments because i will do more of them we're going to go there at least once a week uh, to see for some other cars to buy for ourselves some that we will keep some we will be buying to move on okay so the little rough black 2006 mercedes-benz c180 it has been uh it's sold the current bid so that is closed it says and it sold for 900 dollars plus a 415 dollar buyer's premium so that is thirteen hundred and fifteen dollars was the sale price so sometimes these cars get bought and not paid for and we will see them again but that was a no reserve it says up here sold 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 so that one is gone for 900 goodbye uh well yes possibly it could have been all right for someone but like i said not for me uh we've got one minute left on our ml350 so we will come back in a second when it has sold okay we are back with the ml350 2007 and i was just talking to the boss about this car and i was humming and hurrying about actually hitting it with a bid uh, there's a few things that were concerning of me one the fact that that aircon completely stopped was a little bit strange could it have been the battery being so flat well it could have been when i first started it it was turning itself off and on off and on off and on because the battery was so flat so yes it could have been that but it was working pretty good for a little while now the thing that concerned me was there was two things one the fuse panel in the back had been opened up 
So there is obviously a reason for that. Now, let's just flick through these pictures quickly and see if it's opened in this. But why? I mean, someone's been in there sniffing around, checking stuff out. Uh, so why is that the case? So that, as you can see here, it's opened up here as well in these pictures. Now, why has it been sent in with that opened up? Is one thing I'd like to know. This is also where all your rear SAM computer is and stuff in these. They are renowned for the tail lights leaking water in and it goes and hits the rear SAM. So the rear SAM is basically the computer that does a lot of the body stuff. So that's a little bit of a concern that was for me was the one thing. It did have dealer servicing and stuff, which was pretty good. The other concern, and I didn't actually notice that today, that little dent. Uh, the other concern was why was it put in to the auction with a flat battery now if we look here it is running there but it's listed as the battery being flat so that was the other little concerning bit for me so i was humming and hurrying and if it had a tow bar i was gonna hit the bid but it doesn't have a tow bar and with a mercedes that leads you into a whole another world of hurt is to put a tow bar on you then have to change the computer and all this other stuff to have it work properly so they can be a absolute bear so it winning bid well it's not a winning bid as you can see over here it says referred so it was 2750 reserve not met it didn't say it was even close and that is very cheap for one of these so and it's been referred so i'd say that they are probably nowhere near what the buyers wanted plus 615 so that's what 33.65 out the door if they let it go which for these is pretty good because they're probably worth around 10 uh, they can be worth more for a nicer level one but that one is probably a 10 grand car so not a bad price for that one so we've got one more that's about to end and that is our little mini so we'll go find that and see how close that one is. And here it is here. It has 33 seconds left. And it is at 4,900 with the reserve near and 615 buys premium. So that one uh, will maybe, that one might be let go. So at any rate, there's no point waiting the next 20 seconds. That's what it's going to go for. So that is 55.15 and you tell me whether you think that's a good deal. So if you want to see more of this content, then drop your comments down below. And with all of that said, I'll say thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.